God damn it. Fucking van sounds like shit. So my plan is to relocate the battery to the cargo area or all the way back to the bed. Not real sure yet, but I got enough cable to do whatever I want. Also got a 300 amp breaker that I will put on the ground of the battery right next to the battery. Picked up a yellow top so I can run the winch even if the vehicle won't start and I'll still have enough juice to start the vehicle afterwards. I need to cut off these AC lines so that I have an in and an out that I can then tee off of and flare and do whatever I need to do. That'll get all these lines out of the way. This condenser evap canister can go. This guy here. Get basically get all this stuff out of here. Clean it up nice. Then we can put the power box back. We can run our new wire down to where this guy runs and over to here to power the box. The ground I'm just going to cut, put a ring terminal on, and then ground it to the body. That will clean up this entire area here. So that's already a lot more room. I can get down to the motor mount if I need to. I can also get down to the starter wire, looks like. Yeah. I need to remove this now, and this, and this. All right, so that is a lot cleaner in here now. I, um, I'll get this situated, or maybe over here like this. Haven't decided yet. I need to put the washer bottle and the overflow bottle over here so I have room for the intake over there. Then I'm definitely gonna put the battery in the back, either under the seat somewhere in here if I can fit it. I may have to remove this, I don't know. Otherwise, it will go in the back probably around here I don't know somewhere around there we'll have the filler neck over here so can't put it over there but we'll see got this guy all finished up I need to final paint it build some mounts for the radiator and then start tubing this out I'll clean all this up maybe put a piece of sheet metal in here in between the tube and then tie that into some rock rails into an XO. I have these JCR off-road frame stiffeners. I need to put them on, I need to mark the areas that will need to be welded and then pull them back off, grind those areas down to the metal, put them back on, weld them into place. That'll give me something sturdy to weld on some side rails, kind of like crush rails, rock rails, whatever you want to call them. And off of that will be the tube that goes out to the front, and then around, and then up and over. But, since it's cold as hell, and I hate working in the cold, especially crawling around on the cold pavement, um, what I'll probably end up doing today is finishing out this, and around the top basically just getting that finished so that there's nothing left to do on that part of it and then i can move on to other stuff like um, getting the tail lights and go ahead and design this up in photoshop of how i want the tubes to go that way i'm not guessing once it's time to start cutting tubes i can just lay it out and then cut it so probably going to paint all this make sure it doesn't rust and then weld up once it gets a little warmer finish welding up that rear window section finish welding up the top i could have spent like a week welding this thing and it would have been beautiful watertight welds but 
I don't give a shit. And I'm going to seal it with the sealer anyway so that I never worry about it. And then I can smooth this out once it dries and seal it up a little more. Smooth that out and then paint it. And it'll look, you know, kind of like Bondo. But it's watertight. Uh, heavy duty construction adhesive. Basically the same shit down here. This rubber plastic shit. But once I get everything boxed in and sheet metaled in with all these little plates and welded intact in place, I'll go over it with all this as well down here so it's watertight. Clean the windows, obviously. And then in here, I need to button all this with some tacks or something. And um, then also as well, some sealer in here so that nobody cuts themselves on this metal. Seal all this up. That'll all be sealed. And then put the seats back in, put the headliner back in. I also need to finish the trim right here and plate this with a piece. Cut like that. Plate it all up, make it look nice. And then I can get some truck bed rails, the caps off of a truck bed, just cut them and then put them over this and that'll block that in. I also need uh, I need to find a Jeep Comanche so that I can get the side plates that the tailgate actually mounts to and latches to. I have a tailgate already, but I did not, um, unfortunately did not get the side plates at that time. Fucking van sounds like shit. Anyway, that's essentially what it's gonna look like. You can see the tailgate fits right in between guys here and just barely so that's exactly where you weld up the god damn it where you weld up the side plates that the latches and the pivot mount to that right there essentially it'll be a lot higher obviously it'll actually come up to about here so that's that. Almost there. I also went ahead and painted all of this. So it looks a little nicer. So, like if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, guys, keep on modding.